Many years ago, I came to the realization that art and beauty is the same thing. You know, whether you think of yourself as an artist or not, or an art connoisseur, it doesn't matter. Because people, everybody, loves beauty. So in creating art, I always think about what's beautiful out there. What can I paint that is going to make a house or a person feel good because it's a thing of beauty. So whether I'm painting a vaquero, a rough old guy out in the ranch, or whether I'm painting children or a beautiful woman, I'm always thinking about capturing that thing that makes people feel good, that makes people want to be around art. My wife Kathy and I almost always paint together. We have this little studio in Castroville, Texas, a wonderful little town. It's just the perfect ideal place where we built our own studio just the way we wanted it, with a light just the way that we wanted it, so that we could feel good while we're painting so that every morning when we wake up and we've got whether it's an assignment or whether it's something that we're painting for fun or whether it's a new challenge or a new series of paintings that we want to do that it's done in a beautiful environment you never know exactly what's going to happen painting is like writing it's this blank sheet of paper it's this blank canvas and you just got to do it. People ask, can you paint without being inspired? And I always say, absolutely not. Uh, I can paint only when I'm inspired. But luckily I get inspired at nine o'clock every morning. I really try to capture that. Who is this person? What does that look in their eye? What are they trying to tell me? What is the feeling inside them. You want to capture a personality, you want to capture a feeling, you want to almost know their soul. It's about inspiration, it's about creating beauty, and it's about wanting to bring life to a piece of canvas, a brush, and then have it enhanced by a frame and having things look sometimes more beautiful than you thought. And when that happens, it's magic.